Okay, hi everyone, this is Masud from Black Wings FX and this is a quick tutorial on how to use the intro preset from Black Wings FX. First thing you need to do is just make sure that you have your logo, text or whatever you have is ready in a transparent format and the file should have the same height and width. What I have here is a transparent logo in PSD format that I already saved in 2K size. So basically the width and the height should be exactly the same otherwise it's going to be stretched in our preset key. Let's jump into Cinema 4D and see how quickly we can make our animation. After you install the package into your preset folder, when you go to Content Browser, you're gonna have the BWFX Intro Preset Kit. And if you open up that, you're gonna have six subfolders and also a main C4D file. So what I'm gonna do first is to make a quick animation with all the elements that we have here and then later on I'm gonna show you what attributes we have for each elements that we are bringing into our scene. I open up the scene, I bring the logo in and I'm gonna choose one of our 30 logo animated here. Uh, let's bring this one. What I have here in our uh, logo controller which is the file that we just br brought it here uh, we need to replace the file with the logo that we just created so I'm gonna pick the one that I have here by the way the logo is downloaded it's a free logo from freepick.com and you can check it out it's a great website so first animation is already ready I'm gonna bring a background So the background is ready. Let's bring another element here, frame. And let's bring a thin frame, maybe this one. Let's add one more, maybe this. And let's go back to our folder. Let's bring a symmetric, maybe this one. And also the light. I'm going to choose one of the lights that we have from six different preset here let's bring light 3 now we already have the animation so it's time to just play with all the attributes to just match everything with each other so basically the first thing is the color of the background color of the elements that we already brought to just match it with the color of the logo that we have I play with the frame I change the color to one of the color from the logo I'm gonna change from color to luminance and then the size scale I'm gonna bring it up so the dots that I brought the thin line number nine I think the thickness is too much I'm gonna bring it down uh, the scale is slightly higher and the other thin line I'm gonna make it thinner than what it is now you can change the size of the symmetric file you can make it smaller or bigger but I'm gonna stick to whatever I had already but what I'm gonna change is the number of the lines that I have right now is 9 so I'm gonna bring it down probably to 6 just make sure the lighting is uh, working as I as we want so if I go to the scene I have the default light here I need to turn it off to just make sure that the light that we brought doesn't affect the other lights here and then I go to the background it's already on uh, illumination so I'm gonna take that off and bring the color to just make sure the light is working on our scene the other thing I need to do is the distance between the logo and also the background. 
if you go to the top view you can see the background is quite far from the logo you can bring it closer to the center then I go back to the perspective view let's change the color of the dots that I had here the dots are white but I want to pick a color from our logo and the other thing I want to do is to just make sure the cast and receive shadow is on for elements as long as I want to cast any shadow so for the frame I definitely want to have the shadow so I turn it on for the thin line uh, not necessarily so I don't want to cast any shadow for the logo it's already on for the another thin line so I don't want it either and for the symmetric I want to turn it off as well so right now if you check out the light what you have here the shadow is already off so you can turn it on play with the attributes that you have in your light so the Z position, I'm going to bring it slightly back and the target and you can see if you play with the attributes that you have here, what's going to change here. So the target of the light is going to move in Z space and you can change it depends on how you want it to look. And also you have another option to turn this. I'm going to leave it on zero. And right now if you render the current frame, this is what we're gonna have and also bring the background a bit closer you can just bring it slightly more in let's say 10 another render bring up the intensity and you can also even work with the fall off and even change the angle another thing I'm gonna change is the background the color of the background is not what I actually want I'm gonna make it I'm gonna pick a color from the logo that we have here probably slightly darker than what it is right now So this is how quickly you can make an animation without too much work to do. And right now I'm going to show you what are the attributes that you have for every element that you brought into the scene. Let's start with the scene. What you can control in your animation is that when the animation starts, when the intro starts, when the is, uh, intro stops, and when the outro starts, and when the outro stops. Uh, and also the speed curve that gives you the option how to control the speed of the animation and easy in and ease out. The next one is scene preset switch. In case you want to bring your own camera and you don't want to control your animation with any of the camera that we have already in our scene, what you need to do is turn off the switch and then you are able to turn on your camera, the default camera that you already brought it into your scene. Otherwise, if the switch is on, let's go back to the scene. If the switch is on, so none of the camera that you are bringing into your scene gonna work and as long as the switch is on you have access to all seven cameras that you have here the first one is a static doesn't have any animation even if you play with your frames here it doesn't change anything in the first camera but all the other cameras have a simple animation and you can play with them to see which one you prefer for your animation when you render it and rendering gonna be really quick and the last one which is the light we, we turn it off actually because we already have a light in our scene so we didn't need to play with this one but as long as this one is on it's a general light and gives you a uh, sort of ambient light into your scene if you render this one you're gonna see the much brighter scene and without any shadow you still can keep this one but based on the light that you already have in your scene, you probably need to bring the brightness down a bit. Otherwise, you're going to have a very bright scene without any proper shadow that you already designed. So if you can see, the light compared to the previous one is slightly brighter. 
but I personally prefer to turn it off for some of the scene that we are making. Let's go to the logo. What we have in the logo, just like the other one, we have the animation. You can control your animation and at any frame that you want. And the next thing is the one that we already changed to, your, to our own logo. And the luminance and the color are just like creating a new texture and play with the color and luminance here is exactly this same switch that you have here. So whatever effect that you're getting here is going to be the same for the logo here. So as long as it's luminance, so it's going to be the flat color without any shadow when it's on color. So it depends on the elements that you are bringing and casting shadow or not. So you're going to have different effect for that one. So the next one going to be the background. In background, we have the same animation. The other attributes are the two color that we have, the main and the back color. You can change the color as you want, and also the illumination and the color. It's going to be the same for the attributes that you had for the logo. And also the Z-Dep, uh, we already play with the Z-Dep to just have different effects. If you go so far, then if you render this one, you're not going to see that much of the shadow because the shadow based on the lighting that you have gonna be in different position as you can see the shadow of the frame from the light from the right side and the other shadow from the light at the left side so the next one is the frame let's say if you want to make the size bigger if you want to make the width based on what you have you can play with the Z position and the color just like the one that you had in logo is exactly the same the only extra thing that you can find in the frame is the reflection color and also the brightness of reflection as specular then we jump back to thin line just like the frame you can control the animation you can turn the cast and receive shadow on or, on or off you can change the color the scale width thickness and also z position the symmetric some of them has different attributes but uh, overall what you can find are a scale count whether you want to have more or less it depends on the shape so we, we have different numbers for each of them and the last thing is the light we have six different light preset here and based on their uh, position in the scene they have different attributes the one that we already have, they have intensity, they have the color of the light, fall off, uh, outer angle that you can play to see what exactly you can get from each uh, light actually. The shadow gonna be the same for each uh, file. You can control the Z position for the target, you can control the Z position of the actual light, which if you go further they're gonna bring it all together. They're gonna bring both of them together, you can see the difference. The other thing that I need to mention here is that all your attributes, all your controllers have the option to be animated. Make sure that you are happy with the animation controller and the frame number that you already put it here. Otherwise when you add any keyframe and if you later on change any of the frame number from the any elements, you just need to adjust your keyframe as well. Another way that you can animate your logo and mix few logo not few logo actually few transparent file to each other is that you can uh, let's say from here you can bring another logo and since you have a control on your animation uh, it's gonna end from uh, at frame 90 let's say I, I want to bring it to 50 and end at 80 so the first animation outro gonna be from 50 to 80 so what I'm gonna do is to bring another one let's say logo 09 so this animation I wanted to start from 50 and I stop at 80 and then I want it to stay there and doesn't go out anymore so for the outro I'm gonna put 81 and for the stop, I'm gonna put 81 as well. As long as these two numbers are the same, you're gonna have the logo stay there 
in the entire animation. So if you play this one, you can see you can mix two logo with each other. Let's change the logo and see how it looks. I'm gonna bring the logo that we just used and I'm gonna add another logo, this one. Here we, we see a line that they're cutting each other. So to just fix that one, I'm gonna go to frame 50, the one, uh, the time, the frame that the outro gonna start. I'm gonna pick the second animation that I have. So I'm gonna bring it forward to minus 100 or any, any number you want, doesn't matter. It's up to you. Then go to 80. and push it back to where it was. I'm gonna go to the first animation and I scale it down from 50 to probably zero. Then here we have another animation. As you can see very quickly, you can mix everything together and come with a complex animation. And you don't need to spend so much time to just think I hope you like it and if you have any comment, if you have any idea that how we can improve this preset, we would be happy to receive any comments, any feedback from your side and it would be great if you subscribe to our channel, then later on we can be in touch and uh, keep you updated about our new products and our also new tutorials that's coming very soon in future. Thank you so much and have a great day or night.